here's the foam machine just laid out uh, air connection here then this is the main shaw valve uh, this will be connected with a hose to here and this little ball valve will be on there and you open the ball valve and you pour dish soap in and there'll be a section up in here so then these valves are closed so then what you do is you open this one it'll allow air to bypass and out the bottom and this cap will drill a hole in it this cap in this section here will have stainless steel wool and what happens is then when you have air passing around like this you just crack this valve open and it allows a little bit of dish soap through and the dish soap of course and the air is blowing through and through the stainless steel wool makes foam so uh put it together so got her done as you can see uh here's the unit um i put about a cup of liquid in there dish soap uh, i got the pressure at about 10 psi so i'm just going to start circulating some air through it You can hear the air going there. It's going through the uh, right in here, the, the stainless steel wall. Well, it's foaming. using Dawn. I don't know what type I need to use. Making a foam but it's pretty liquidy. It's not super air bubbly. Well, put some more in, see what happens. Okay, well, there's a lot in there now. Let's, uh... I'm gonna turn the air, air up a little bit. Close up. It's coming out a little too liquidy for now. So I'll just shut the liquid off and see what happens here. It could also be that my uh, stainless steel mesh is very fine, so that could be the problem. I've seen other guys use was much coarse, more coarse uh, stainless steel mesh. But, you know what, if it mixes with the cement, I am probably going to be okay with that. I think what we'll do is we'll try the different mesh and see how it goes. So I got the foam machine apart and took a look at it. And the, uh, the steel wool I had used, which was a very fine steel wool, was all jammed in at the bottom, the bottom like this. So it was so fine that what's happened of course as soon as the liquid got in it created a back pressure and it was just squished it all up so got this steel wool I'm gonna, uh, it's much much opener it's uh, just a house cleaner uh, scrubby whereas the other stuff I had was steel wool it was actually like for sanding so yeah I'll jam this in there like so and uh, see how this works All right, it's sitting about right there, so that should be good. Okay, so we're gonna give it a test. I just hooked it up, and I'm running this about 30 psi.
Okay, so it turned out okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know how to say what how much foam is actually in there, but I ran out of volume inside the thing. So this is this is empty, so I need to refill it. I was actually thinking I might try a test of 50/50 uh, water and dish soap. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to mix it. I'm going to take and I'll just fill this up with water, and then uh, mix it, and then refill and try again. Okay, so we got 50% water, and I uh, filled it up mostly. Yep. So we're going to give it a try. This is closed. It's open. Well, let's get a closer look at that. It's pretty light. That's actually pretty good right there, I think. For what we're gonna do now, it's gonna take, if I do fifth, a one to one, yeah, this is gonna take a lot of soap. <laughs> so, that little bit, in the vessel there in the container created that foam there so I can probably go quite a bit lighter the density like it's really soapy obviously with only 50% water so I think I'm gonna do another test I'm gonna pour some of it out and dilute it down one more time okay test number three now this is four to one water to soap let's give it a try Well, that's even better like uh, oh yeah all right that's the foam generator I think we got her that's the one four to one on the soap and I'm only running 30 psi and let's see well that was about half and for the little bits I'm gonna make one full container here probably will do up enough cement for a couple gallons, so it'd be good. Okay, so we're gonna make about a gallon of a foam to make a gallon of concrete to make two gallons. Here's the foam generator, everybody. I've been using it to to uh, make the concrete, but I got a problem. So what happens is while I'm making foam to make the concrete pours, 
I'm running out. I don't have enough foam to finish. So I end up having to stop, open this up, fill it up again, close it, make more. So anyway, that's got to go. So I'm going to take and make the upper section here into this uh, three inch ABS. Not exactly sure how to plumb it all together yet, but this chamber here to hold the liquid's got to hold like, like a liter and a half of liquid for sure, minimum. So yeah, I'm going to rebuild this and then I'll show you what it looks like and uh, can make some concrete. All right, going to do a little follow up. We're done with the uh, foam machine. And I got to say, this is the design right here. So uh, the original design, I went through a couple. First one was fine mesh in the bottom section. And that's a no-no. Go with big, big mesh. This is what I am using right here. Just uh, kitchen scrubbies. So one of those shoved in there. Uh, this, the other key part, this is a needle valve. So you're not going to get a valve like this. <laughs> but uh, this is an instrumentation valve. But a needle valve is what you want. Uh, something to really control and slow down the flow of liquid really low. And you can't do that with any of these uh, water valves. It just doesn't work. Uh, second part was, of course, I went through, uh, another part I went through originally was a one inch liquid container um, for the vertical part here, and that didn't work. I was pounding through the, the juice, uh, the dish soap, so, and stop, open it up, fill it up again. Uh, so I upgraded to this three inch. So I'm going to be clear here, though. This is three inch ABS. It is not rated for pressure. Do not do this at home. You are taking your life into your hands if you're pressuring up ABS pipe. And after that disclaimer is over, and I am not at fault if you do something stupid with it, I went and uh, five to 10 PSI was the max I ran it at. And I could hook up it's, I could fill it up about uh, two or three or four to one ratio of dish soap to water, hook up the air, crack open the needle valve about, about, a, about a half a turn and with the bucket under there and I could walk away and go do something else and come back and it's like half full. It worked really good. Uh, I used that ratio so I've got, yeah, well it's right there. So I've still got half left and I ended up doing this pour, uh, which you'll see in a different video. And I must have made at least five gallons of aircrete. So that made that much liquid from here to here made at least two and a half to three gallons of foam. And you lose about 20% of your foam as you're mixing the Crete the, the concrete with the foam, you lose about 20%. So if you want a true 50-50, you're going to have to add a little extra foam. So yeah, and I just take this lid and screw it on when I'm ready to go. But I ran that whole rig and uh, that whole pour made five gallons, good five gallons of aircrete. And it's still got this much liquid in it. Whereas previously I had to do it a couple times. I think the first time I did this the problem was the valve was one of these type valves a water valve and as soon as I cracked this valve open the flow I'd get was so massive I actually had liquid coming out the bottom not foam so yeah that was a failure anyways so this is the first of the videos on the rocket stove And I can't wait to show you guys some more. I've got some other video recorded and I'm going to uh, probably be a few more, another week or two before I can put another video up about the actual forming of the uh, stove. But uh, that was all part of why we needed this aircrete system right here. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you guys have any suggestions of stuff you want me to do, 
please let me know in the comments because uh, I've got one guy recommended a log mill, a chainsaw log mill. I am kind of would rather not do a chainsaw one, but a bandsaw log mill. So, but it's on my list now. So if you guys have suggestions, please give them up. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys out later. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks.